I can cut off whatever we don't need on here too. So don't we're have live. To. So I know. People that are live are gonna see it. It's okay. <laughs> takes takes a minute usually for people to jump yeah, on. Yeah, we we're waiting for here. Give good pictures. For so it's not a stupid picture on the front. What is today? Wednesday. <laughs> Today Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, today's Wednesday. So, yeah, because we're we not are. anticipating a lot of people to get on here live Wednesday during the day, but we've been trying to get our schedules together, and yes, now is the time. It is now is the time. So, welcome, Whole Total Health brand partners. We had a meeting this past Friday, and we went over all of the new Young Living enhancements. And so what we have decided to do is for the people who were not able to attend, we wanted to record all of these trainings into a YouTube playlist so that you guys can go back and watch them in order as you see fit. Or it's also going to make our time much more efficient because when people ask us about all these changes, then we can send you this link and you guys can kind of go through these videos, take notes, get all the information that you need. First up, I want to say and let everybody know that Team Resilience Business has now become Whole Total Health brand partners. And our oil education page, Team Res or yes, Team Resilience, is now Whole Total Health. The reason for that is because we are that Whole Total Health is basically our umbrella company, which is our company that we do all of our education from. Mm -hmm. So we have a Whole Total Health YouTube channel, we have a Whole Total Health public Facebook page. We're working on a Whole Total Health website that is linking all of these different pages together. So we just felt like it would be a lot easier if we just kept the same name all around, yeah. right? To, to not make that confusing to people. So Team Resilience is no more and Team Resilience Business is no more. We are Whole Total Health brand partners, which are Young Living brand partners in this group. In this video, we're going to be going over the enhancements that are coming May 1st, which is Yes. Very soon. Yes. All of the enhancements <laughs> will be May 1st with the exception of one. And that is the kit bonus. Okay. That's so it. he actually knows a lot more about this stuff than I do because I've had some people come in and help me because it's gotten a little bit overwhelming for me um, just with a lot of other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But it's really cool because it's kind of forced us to kind of start working together as a team, which is now why Whole Total Health is kind of emerging more because we're more... Yes a team, not just Tara Jacobs or this organization or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to work together as a team. So they've been studying the compensation plan. He knows a lot about business, a lot more than I do. I just like to get out there and share and talk to people and um, do all this fun stuff. So that was cool that you said that because yeah. it just helps remind me and yes. he keeps me on track that way. Yes. So we want to talk with you guys about these enhancements, okay? We were very, very excited about this new system. He has studied it in, in depthly, has been kind of talking with me more and more about it, and I've just been kind of running out there and just doing it, right? Like I've been kind of like practicing what we preach, mm -hmm. kind of just getting out there and putting some feet to this whole new system because I wanted to get it kind of practiced and well rehearsed before it actually rolls out on May 1st and June right. 1st. And I think we've done a pretty good job. Very good. We, Yeah, yeah. For everything being rolled out, the major changes, major enhancements, um, for really not, not a lot of time to prep. And so, yeah, I think we've done a good job. I think you can help with that by tagging and posting and reposting these videos. Be responsible for those that are on your team the team are the people that you have below you. Be responsible. Um, we know that education is really more about repetitiveness. So the more they see it, the more they see reference to it, uh, people, the more they're going to learn and you're more that you're going to pick up. So we would appreciate your help. Yes. And appreciate that your help. right there, I'm going to put a plug in for the Facebook Young Living USA page. They are incredible, you guys. Mm -hmm. They have been doing so good about posting videos every day from different leaders of Young Living, all different training videos about the new enhancements. So there's really no excuse to not know all right. of these changes. Right. I mean, there's so many resources out there and our job is to just keep connecting you basically mm -hmm. to the Young Living training websites because they have it all. Your virtual office has it all. So we're just kind of here to guide you and explain how that looks for you based on what we've done, right? right? Exactly. And how we've done it. So exactly. yep. Um, yep. the first thing I want to say is that lots of changes are coming, okay? But in all reality, they're not that tricky at all, mm -hmm. 
right? Like once you start looking into them, when they started going over them with me, I remember kind of freaking out and I'm like, <sighs> and you guys were like, it's fine. It, Cause it's like two or three pages of the frequently asked right. questions or whatever, or six pages, I don't know. And the explanations is, is a lot of legalese. And so- uh, It sounds more confusing. It does. And so when we did our videos uh, yesterday, we wanted to make it, we wanted to bring the cookies down on the shelf a little bit so everybody can get a hold of them. Not, not real, real complicated, really. Not really. Right. So they actually, him and my mom, Rhonda, they went through and, and talked about the changes much more in-depthly. Mm -hmm. So those videos are already posted mm -hmm. in this page and they will be put into the playlist so that you can kind of watch all this in yes. order. Yes, yes. Um, all businesses experience changes throughout the growth of their company, okay? Change, try to think of change as opportunity, which can also mean growth. This is like a constant constant reminder even for myself as I am realizing that maybe I don't love change as much as I thought I did, or maybe we only love change when it kind of like comes easy for us mm -hmm. or it like works for us. Um, and I think that this new system is incredible. Like I am really, really pumped about it, but sometimes change automatically just, you put a red flag up and mm -hmm. this, truly is an opportunity for all of us if we look at it the way that way and then i think our growth is going to basically be a representation of that if that yeah. makes sense yeah yeah and the reality is that there are really two types of people when it comes to change in fact i think a lot of it's based on personality we didn't talk much about that before but i think it's a lot my wife as an example is very adventuresome and so she really likes new things and different things and to mix things up. I, on the other hand, am a person who kind of likes things to stay the same because once I learn them, I don't want to relearn them again. And so really, there are the two mindsets. But I've been both types of people. The one mindset of uh, people are that when change comes, they sit back and uh, they're frustrated by it. And usually, as you know, our frustration usually bubbles over into complaining. And, and I've been that way. I've been that kind of a person. Um, and then other people, which I want to be more often, are the people that really uh, grab a hold of it and realize that usually change is just not for the sake of change, but usually change is for the sake of improvement, especially in good quality businesses that are looking out for their people. And Young Living is that company. So uh, that's the second way, and that's the way I prefer. So really, just to understand that there are just two mindsets, and we choose which mindset we're going to be in. The changes are phenomenal. They really are phenomenal, and I believe much overdue, to be real honest. Yeah, I think a lot of people were getting really stuck in their ways, mm -hmm. maybe, and it just needed something, which I think that's what this is. I don't really think it's this big, huge, dramatic change. I think it's a very subtle, small change that really does have the potential of like shaking everything up mm -hmm. in a good mm -hmm. way is obviously what we're hoping. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. some people are motivated by change. Like he said, they rise to the occasion, they get excited about it. Um, and, and like you said, we're both kind of both ways sometimes. Like mm -hmm. I was that way definitely at first. I'm like, this is so exciting. Right. And then sometimes after you process the changes, you're, you a little fear creeps in or like something happens and you're kind of like, wait, is this what I really want? Mm -hmm. And I think another thing that's important to bring up is how are you affected by change? <clears throat> because sometimes it can bring out either bad parts of us and it can bring out good parts of us, mm -hmm. right? Because we can be stubborn. We can be like, I'm not changing. This yes. is how it is. Or, yes. you know, or we cannot be as um, compassionate towards others. I know that I fall into that sometimes where it's like, if I'm ready for change, then I'm not compassionate towards you if you're mm -hmm. not ready for change. And I think we both can kind of go back and forth on that as I think a lot of us I are think, experiencing I think, right yeah, now. Yeah, as I'm thinking about it too, with we've all been through a lot of changes over the last year. And most of those changes we've not been happy with. I'm talking about the COVID and all of the things. We've just not been happy. Our lives have been shifted in dramatic ways. And sometimes because of that, other changes in our life, which come across really major, are not as major simply because we're emotionally strained because of all the other things going on. And so uh, the changes really are good changes. And I think they are phenomenal changes. And we'll go into that. Um, but don't try to understand all the changes. I mean, don't try to, you know, that's some of our job to explain it, but don't try to wrap your brain around all of the changes because it can be overwhelming if you look at 
each and every little stroke that they've changed. And you don't really need to do that. In fact, when you started the business with Young Living, right? When we started it, you didn't know everything there was to know about all the oils, all of the systems. How do I get to the you know, to my virtual office. You didn't insist on knowing all of those things before you fell in love with the oil and before you decided to share the oils. It was strictly passion and love for the product. And I would encourage you to be that way again. Don't try to understand everything um, before you actually launch out and really continue to and begin again to uh, re-promote the products. Yeah, that is something we really want to encourage everybody to do is that to, to stay focused on the products, okay? Mm -hmm. As much as we're going to want to focus on change, stay focused on the products. We're reminding ourselves that. I mean, this is something we need to all kind of be reminding mm -hmm. each other of is just like how amazing these products are and what our life would be like if we did not have them. So those are something some things that we should keep in mind. And, and also know in here... Whole Total Health Brand Partners or Young Living Brand Partners are basically what used to be known as our business members, right? Or mm -hmm. a distributor. Mm -hmm. Now we are known as brand partners, which I really like that because it gives us a lot more freedom to train our people. So for example, some of you in this group, you're simply customers. I don't even know that you would consider yourself a business person or a brand partner other than the fact that you love the products and you really wanted or expressed some type of interest about learning about the business mm -hmm. at some point. So just know that that's okay, okay? And this whole new restart, this whole new refresh button is gonna actually help us as leaders to kind of connect with people to kind of see where you are at. So at some point we yes. may even contact you and kind of see where you are, you know, as a customer, are you still kind of interested in sharing? Would you maybe have a class for somebody who's on your team that could benefit them and then also benefit you? There's lots of different ways to look at this and there's lots of different um, things that could potentially be a huge benefit for you, even if it just means you getting enough money to pay for your products every month. I mean, that to us is a big deal, Yeah. right? Like. We're getting our products paid for now over and over and over again, like a few times mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So for us, we're kind of slowing down a little bit and like, who can we see that could benefit from getting their products paid for? We already believe in the products on some level and we want to get the products to as many people as we can. So why not start with people who are already our brand partners or our customers, you know, so that we can kind of get them moving in the right direction. Yeah. And really, sense. and really a, a big thing is that, uh, through statistics, 90% of the volume of Young Living is people who are members, but technically customers. And so basically the big change is, one of the big changes are that if you want to be a business or a brand member, a brand partner, then you have to raise your hand and say, I want to be a brand partner. You have to in some way signal that to the company because the company is going to be focusing on customers in one direction and putting lots of resources and helping customers and they're also going to be putting different resources into brand partners so really all they've done is they separated and said we need to be more customer focused and the 10 percent of people that have decided to do the business we need to do the right enhancements to help them as well so that's really what's going on is a customer focus a product focus and then resources for those who have raised their hand in some way, in one way or another, and we would go into that in other videos, in one way or another and said, I don't just love the product, I don't just love it, buy it, share it, I want to look into the business opportunity of it, and that then would make you a brand partner. That's good. And then in closing for this video, and then we'll start up another yeah. one, I think yeah. it'll be a good pause or a good break. Um, if you, do consider yourself a business member right now or a brand partner, then hang with us. Like again, he was saying, we want you to identify as that. We want to know, I think this is going to cut out so much confusion for even us as leaders because we can help identify with you what you are, right? A customer brand partner. And if you are a brand partner, then hang with us through this process and you are going to be able to see more opportunities than you ever thought possible. Like there are just so many things going through our head all the time that's almost overwhelming mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah. And we've got to the point where it's literally like we have to get this information out to people because we can't keep it to ourselves anymore. Right. Kind of seems to be what is going on. So if you guys want to hang around in the next video, we're going to talk about not being intimidated and kind of sharing with you um, a little bit more. So we'll see you soon.